Welcome back to the channel everyone. Sorry I have not posted in a while. I've been quite busy. Uh, for those of you that are new to the channel, I do a lot of freelance work with uh, good guys. So I travel around the country as often as I can. Uh, taking pictures uh, that you guys see. So whether it's online or in the Gazette, doesn't mean a couple other photographers that uh, put that all together uh, amongst you know, hundreds of other people that work for the uh, organization, editors and whatnot. But uh, there's usually, depending on the size of the event, me and one or two other photographers. So when that happens, I'm unable to basically make any videos because I just don't have the time to do so. Uh, and if they're hiring me to do an event, that's my number one priority, not making YouTube channels. So uh, with that said, it's just kind of been almost event after event after event and then after I take a pitch you know all the photos and I got to edit them which is usually another weekend so it just doesn't leave me a lot of time to make pro, uh, 315 squared uh, video sorry I almost said protouring.com because I do some stuff with them as well so um, but I wanted to make this video kind of as an update on where we are with some of the vehicles some of the content um, as you can see uh, it's rather hot here. I live in Arizona. Again, for those that don't know, it's a, it's not crazy hot today. I think it's 101 currently. I just got done changing the oil in my Honda, so I'm a little uh, disgusting looking, more disgusting than usual. Uh, kind of feel like I'm Taylor Ray out here sweating as I uh, do my intro. Um, but with that said, so Southern Comfort, my 72 F100, I was just able to get tires. I, in fact, I ordered them yesterday. Um, actually, my fr friend Wayne at Rim One ordered them for me, but uh, we just ordered those. Those have been really hard to get, especially my rears, which are a 295, 18 something. I can't remember the exact size, but they've just been on back order, back order, back order. So it, it's been a while since I've been able to actually put new tires on, on the truck. Um, the BMW, I've done a few little little things here, the cosmetic things because of the sun, you know, the plastics break. So I've upgraded, you know, things here and there. I was actually driving with the convertible top up and there's a panel that is connected to the top, um, a black plastic piece. And when I was driving one day, the whole piece just, the whole panel just fell on my head while I was driving. So uh, <laughs> luckily nothing, happened as far as me getting an accident or anything like that. I just kind of quickly like held it up and I was able to put it behind me. So when I looked into it a little further, there's I believe five screws that hold that plastic piece in place and all five of those screws backed out um, at some point. So it was just kind of like hanging there and then I hit a bump or whatever and it just completely fell down. So uh, take that is taken care of uh let's see um what else do I, uh well the wagon that's a whole nother story for those that you don't know i have a 69 kingswood wagon getting an ls swap that was supposed to be done a long time ago years ago actually and um then it was supposed to be i was supposed to finally pick it up at ls fest west earliest year um but broke a valve spring well i didn't break it the guy doing it uh just driving around broke a valve spring and it ended up breaking a timing chain as well so it was like a day or two before i was supposed to pick it up and i got the news that hey this is not happening because we ran into an issue so it is now july 23rd and it's like i said it's just been an ongoing process again i don't want to get into the minutiae of it but i'm um, fingers crossed hope to have that car back in a month or two so i know there hasn't been any really content on the car in a while just because i haven't had the car to make any content with so um that's kind of the long and short of my vehicles again being in arizona and being that it's over 100 degrees trying to shoot uh videos is a little hard to do in arizona just because of the heat you know pe most people trying to get away and stay inside versus be outside all day shooting a video so 
uh, I might need to go to you know California or, or something like that where it's a little bit cooler and do something but again with my schedule it's just been a little hectic trying to make content for the channel so um, but without further ado I do have a video for you today um, actually Ryan Buck uh, has a blazer that I'm going to be showing you in a second and Jason with TCI reached out to me I was in De De Mo uh, Des Moines good guys and he was like hey uh, Ryan has a blazer we'd like you to shoot you know do you have time and so I made made some time happen and was able to uh, make a video for you guys so it's not a crazy 30 minute video that I typically do it's kind of like just down to the basic spare bones of what Ryan, what Ryan did to his blazer. And again, um, and, and it's also going to be shown on TCI's channel. If you haven't checked that out, I think it's just called Total Cost Involved. And there'll be a little shorter version on his um, channel or TCI's channel. And mine will have the longer version. So if you're not into the longer videos, definitely go over to TCI. That video will probably be closer to five minutes, where this is probably going to be, I haven't edited it down yet, but 10 to 12 minutes. So anyways, enough of me jibber-jabbering. Let's get on to Ryan Buck's blazer, and I hope you guys enjoy, and just stay with me. I will be making more content here shortly. It's just, this isn't my number one job. This is kind of like my third job, uh, truth be told. So the time is uh, minuscule at best, but I will make videos when I have time. So. Anyways, please subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you guys at the next channel or next video. I don't know. It's hot. Don't blame me. I'm Ryan Buck. This is my 1970 K5 Blazer. So we bought the truck about five or six years ago. I had a C10 that we were going to build. Decided uh, being a K5 guy, I've had a number of them. We had to get a first gen and play with that. So when we bought the truck, it was all stock. Sat about 16 inches taller, four wheel drive, uh, 350 motor, 350 tranny, factory AC. Uh, it was black with the black top. In fact, I didn't even paint the inside of it, but uh, black with a teal stripe that kind of followed the body line that fit that 90s persona and had some really crappy uh, bucket seats in it that sat right on the floor and we drove it in stock form for a couple years it sat in storage for a couple years and then uh, went into the garage for some major surgery i've got the tci pro touring uh, c10 front cross member in here with the ride tech single adjustable shocks willwood brakes American Racing wheels wrapped in Falcon tires. Uh, it was a real easy choice to go with the TCI Pro Touring front end because I already have it in our 63 Nova that people may have seen out at other events. Uh, and that, that package is proven and it's essentially the same package here, just uh, geometrically correct for the, for the truck. Uh, it's, it's, very economical and it's user friendly for the the home builder which i am you know i did all this in a garage like just about anybody that's going to watch this we're running the tci uh, torque arm suspension in this the c10 suspension and even though the k5 is what eight inches shorter than a short box pickup it's got a 104 inch wheelbase the trailing arm length remains the same and so does the pickup point at the Cross member, so this uh, this went right in uh, with a small exception. But since this was a four-wheel drive frame, the rear section is much straighter and squarer than a two-wheel drive frame. So they had to outfit me with some custom brackets. But aside from that, the suspension itself goes right into the stock frame uh, without modifying any lengths ver uh, over a pickup setup. And then I, I opted for more tire in the back, so I did a two inch mini tub of my own. They sell fours, but I couldn't find a two, so I welded in, in a strip, narrowed the seat from a couch to a love seat. It's a two seater now. We took four inches out of the seat 
and then had it recovered to match uh, the front buckets I'm running. So I, I did a LS swap on this with a L33 aluminum 5.3. Currently it has a stock intake and throttle body on it. I did have bigger and bolder plans for a small turbo, making about 750, but for now we're just gonna street it. Uh, and because of that, it's just got a 4L60 behind it, you know, went through it. But it's more or less a junkyard engine with a cam and a paint job. And uh, it kind of ties in with the CST theme that I did, a little play on the blazer package did my own modern interpretation put the truck trim on it put a uh, GT350 stripe with the CST logo made some custom badges that I tied into the interior uh, and you know with the CST theme I did my own custom hood which is a 68 hood that I've chopped and made fit the 70 grill and uh, to my surprise as soon as I got it painted I found out you can buy them in a catalog now <laughs> But uh, it's, the idea was just to make a, a modern play on GM CST package, something that we can literally load the luggage in, load the family, drive to the event, hang out with everybody, have great times with good guys, and uh, pack it back up and drive it home. When we bought the truck, the, like I said, it was black with a teal blue stripe in it, and the, the paint was outdated, it was old, it was cracking. So the big decision became, you know, how do we paint it? What color do we paint it? I wanted to go wild with some 70s vibe and my wife tamed me down. And uh, originally the truck, its original color was uh, Yuba Gold with a white top. Kind of wanted to do a brown and cream. That got voted down. So we settled on antique green from a 71 Malibu, which was my first car. And uh, I couldn't be happier with how it came out. It, it's got the old school vibe, but the color I think will pass through the decades without too much judgment. Black top kind of mimicking a uh, vinyl top like uh, I always wanted on my Malibu back in the day. And uh, you know, it's, it's, it's got a nice hue to it that it's, it's old school, but it's still cool. So Good Guys Des Moines here is the first outing for this truck. We put a few local miles on it, took it around town, packed it full of all of our luggage and hit the road for about four hours to come down here. Uh, the drive down was great, aside from a little rain. The, uh, the expectation coming into this event, I had my own personal goals, but I had no idea how realistic they would be. I just wanted to make sure that the truck was competitive, but I knew I was at a disadvantage with an automatic transmission. Uh, we took it out, we ran, times improved a little bit, and when the dust settled, we were second in the truck class, and then in the shootout, managed to run second. working with TCI for a number of years now and they've always been a great partner and they were great to work with in this project. I also uh, brought Willwood with on this one. Again, great company, great people. Willwood uh, six piston up front, which is part of the pro touring package. I've got four piston in the rear along with their uh, manual master, no power on this one. And again, American Racing, they, they stepped up, got some of their, what is it, the VN 510s, I believe. When they first came out, uh, these are off the shelf wheels, nothing custom about them, 
Borla came in again with us and uh, set us up with a great sounding exhaust, nice stainless pipe. And even though I don't have new tires on it yet, Falcon has always been a, a good partner for us. And next time out, hopefully we'll wrap it in some fresh rubber.